Okay, so uh, if we want to go beyond basic recording, like I showed you in the previous video, the next thing we can get into is punching recording, um, or some people call it dropping recording, um, and that allows you to drop in or punch into record to replace a previous bit of recording that's faulty. Right? And it's an old technique going back to the days of tape when you would, uh, you know, rewind the tape to before the mistake hit play, the singer would sing along, when you got to the point where the mistake was, you'd, you'd manually hit the record button, bam, as the tape was playing, it would drop into record, the singer would sing over the mistake, and then bam, you'd hit play and drop it out of record, and you would just record over that little bit on the vocal track or guitar track or whatever to replace a mistake. And then when auto-locators became more sophisticated, uh, multi-track tape machine auto-locators, uh, you, you could program the punch in and out point very accurately. And this technique is still obviously available today in all these sequences like Logic, Cubase and Pro Tools, etc. Um, so here I've got a, a vocal, it's, it's that song Midnight Hour, and I sang this line here deliberately um, out of tune. I'm gonna wait till the midnight hour that's when my love comes tumbling down I'm gonna wait till the midnight hour When there's nobody else around Here it comes I'm gonna take you in my arms and hold you, girl And do all of the things I told you in the midnight hour So clearly this line is a mistake and it needs to be replaced. Okay, so... um. On the grey top bar here, we right click, customize control bar and display, modes and functions, tick auto punch, OK, and the auto punch button appears. We can drop that on or off any time. And when it's on, a new lane appears and you can drag a red cycle over or a red area over where you want to drop into record and then drop out of record and Logic will drop in and out of record automatically. And you can be incredibly accurate with this. So here's the bit we want to replace here, this line. And as I said, you can zoom in and you can be incredibly accurate by, you know, adjust the record drop in point and the record drop out point where it drops out of record. You can be very accurate. So I set it up to drop into record here and out of record there. OK, and um, all I have to do is Put the player to wherever I want to uh, begin, uh, hit record, uh, it, the player will back up by one bar if it's the default one bar counting and it will start playing the current material and at that point it will drop into record and it will drop out of record then resume playback. Okay now, um, one thing to note, I've put a channel strip preset on this uh, track in its channel. So the vocal on playback is playing back through the channel, which has got reverb and EQ and things, and it's got a reverby sound, you know, like this. Love comes tumbling down. And if I act activate input monitoring, as we learned previously, uh, my vocal passes through the same channel strip and I can hear myself with those same effects on. Love comes tumbling down. Right, okay, it's the same. But if you want to hear what is playing back and yourself singing with input monitoring both at the same time leading up to the drop in point then on the record button here this is in logic 10.3 untick auto input monitoring that is ticked by default untick it and then if you put input monitoring on you'll hear yourself passing through the channel strip with the effects and you'll hear the playback of the what's on the track both at the same time, up to the point where it drops in, and then you only hear yourself, right? Okay, now, one other thing. If we look in the record settings here, overlapping audio recordings, because we are going to over, uh, we are recording a piece of audio on top of this bit. So we're, we're recording an overlapped bit of audio on top of a previous recording to replace this bit. And if we look in the overlap audio recordings menu, in no cycle mode, because we're not cycling around, right? By default, it's set to create take folder. Now we're going to look at take folders and quick swipe comping next. So let's switch it to replace, which is the simplest form of, of um, punch in recording. Replace. So that is now ticked for no cycle, right? And that means that, okay, I'll place play where I want uh, 
playback to begin, hit record, and it starts playing back what's on the track with the record button flashing, and only when it gets to that red point, it drops into record, records across then, then drops out and start, plays back again. All right. And because we've set the record overlap audio recordings in no cycle mode to replace, as soon as I hit record, the bit below the red area will be chopped out, making a gap ready to replace, drop the new region in that I record when logic goes into record in that red area, right? So let's let's do it. Okay, I want to hear myself and play back at the same time. Here we go. Hit record. I'm gonna wait to And I can hear myself at the same time, right? That's when my love comes tumbling down. I'm gonna wait till the midnight hour oh. When there's no one else around I'm gonna take you in my arms and hold you, girl And do all of the things I... Right, and it's dropped And it's dropped me into record, it's dropped the recording in there And because we had it set to replace, it chopped out the bit we're replacing And dropped the new recording in there And there it is No one else around I'm gonna take you in my arms and hold you, girl And do all of the things I told you Right, come on, come on, said to undo Or we can do, look, record Overlap audio recordings, no cycle We could set it to create new track And what it will do then is it will, well, watch Let's take it from here Input monitoring on, one, two, here we go Love comes tumbling down I'm gonna wait till the midnight hour When there's no one else around I'm gonna take you in my arms and hold you, girl And do all of the things I told you Right And you get what you expect We had it set to new track Right, so it records the new bit on a new track but it duplicates the track settings and then all I have to do is either drag that and drop it on top of that and it chops that bit out and puts that bit in command Z to undo yeah or do, you know that's or, or leave it there and uh, chop there and there on the original and mute the original or whatever I want right command Z to undo undo the recording okay and finally, if you're in Logic 10.3, overlap audio recordings in no cycle mode, we can create a track alternative. But for drop-ins, this isn't really much point, you know, because we, we're trying to replace the bit that was already there. So create new track is not very useful because you get the new recording on a separate track and then you've got to manually insert it into the old recording to replace the bit you're replacing. So, you know, that's not very useful when you're doing drop-in recording. And um, create track alternative again isn't very useful because you, you, you know we're trying to replace this bit. So the simplest way to do drop-in recordings is with overlap audio recordings in no cycle set to replace, as I showed you. Other than that, we can have it set on the default create take folder, and then this happens. I'm gonna wait till the midnight hour. That's when my love comes tumbling down I'm gonna wait till the midnight hour When there's no one else around I'm gonna take you in my arms and hold you, girl And do all of the things I told you Bam! And with it set to the default Overlap audio recordings, no cycle, create take folder when we drop that bit in, a take folder is created and the dropped in bit is inserted into the take with an automatic comp swipe. Now, to understand how this all works, uh, we'll move on and look at um, these take folders and quick swipe comping. OK, uh, but that's um, the basis of the basis of doing drop in or punch in recording. OK, so let's move on now and look at what this is, which is um, um, take folders and quick swipe comping. Let's look at that next. <laughs> 